Here we go. Talking about first law of thermodynamics. We're going to do a quick little review here, recap. Temperature proportionate to the average amount of kinetic energy. The molecules. Internal energy is the total amount of kinetic energy of all the molecules. The absolute zero, the internal energy is zero. Uh, so temperature is the average, and the amount of kinetic energy and internal energy is the total amount of kinetic energy. Okay. So <clears throat> with the first law of thermodynamics, there's going to be three measurements that we're going to be focusing on. Okay. Change in internal energy is the first. So the variable for change in internal energy is delta U. Uh, it's energy, so it's measured in joules. When is change in internal energy positive? Um, when the temperature increases is positive. Oops, positive delta U. Okay. And when temperature decreases, negative delta U. Okay. Now, temperature and internal energy are not the same thing, but they are related to the amount of kinetic energy of molecules. Okay. Do that. Okay. Next up, we've seen this as well is heat. Heat, variable for that is Q, capital Q. Uh, unit, it's also energy, so joules. And so the misconception is hot objects have heat. That's a no. <laughs> They don't have heat. Hot objects have internal energy. Okay. Heat is considered positive when um, when heat is added to the system. And it's negative when heat is taken away. from the system. Okay. Heat is positive when heat is added to the system and heat is negative when it's taken away from the system. Now, this is not, most people don't find this challenge they're like troubling they're like yeah added plus take it away subtract easy okay here's here's where this comes into play <clears throat> so you got your system and your environment in order to add heat to your system what has to be hotter 
the environment or the system, the surroundings or the system. If you to add heat to your system, which has to be hotter, the environment or the system? Have a conversation. Which has to be hotter, <clears throat> the system or the environment? Okay. <clears throat> Which one's hotter, the system or the environment? Environment. environment. So the system is colder than the environment. And if heat is being, if heat is lost, it's taken away, then which is hotter, the system or the environment? Conversely, the system is hotter. And the system is hotter than the environment. Those two points are kind of the stumbling block. Um, those are the, the pit that'll get you. Good at that. So in order to add heat, the system has to be colder. In order to give heat away, the system has to be hotter. Okay. Good there. All right. Next up, last variable or last measurement is work. We saw that last semester. We're going to have a little bit of a different twist to it here. So work, capital W, it's also in joules. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. So the um, work is considered, so our system in this case is going to be, uh, for thermodynamics, we play all, our playground is going to be a container of uh, ideal gas. That's kind of our, what we're doing all experiments on. Okay. So if, <clears throat> if the system, is expanding and that means you have positive work if your system is expanding you have positive work um, the, the phrase you're looking for is uh, work is being done by the system Paused work. Work is being done by the system. Okay, that's the um, preposition. All right, that's by on. That's preposition, right? Okay. Okay. Now, give you a quick disclaimer. This is different than chemistry. So if you had, if you've been in like AP Chem, Chem 2, or Honors Chem, this is different. This is the opposite of what they taught you. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Okay. <clears throat> Conversely, if work is negative, if uh, the system is being compressed, 
That is negative work. The phrase we would say is work is being done on the system. Okay. Work is being done on the system. Now, the reason for this discrepancy between chemistry and physics is chemistry focuses on what happens to the system. Where physics focuses, has a, more of an engineering bent to it. It says, well, what can the system do for us? I don't care about the system. I care about what the system can do for me. Okay. So here is a way for you. This is like kind of just straight up memorized. Here's a way to help you remember positive and negative sign for work. Okay. So the work is the system. Sorry. The system is a container of gas. Okay. If work, if the system is expanding, dun, 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 it's doing positive work. I'm doing stuff. Like we're making things happen. Get out of my way. I am doing work. Okay, positive. Versus if it's being compressed, it's getting worked on and oh no! Ah! <laughs> Negative work. Okay, you're welcome. Hopefully that sticks in your brain. Okay. Positive. Negative. Work. Positive. Negative. Okay. Good. So Teaching you to look at scenarios in terms of thermodynamics is like learning another language. Okay. And so here's how these words relate. Here's how all these measurements are related in the first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics says delta U is equal to Q minus W. Again, if you had chemistry, that looks a little different, but there it is, okay, in physics. I found this negative sign throws kids for a loop. So what we're gonna do is make everything positive. I want to bring work to the other side. There you go. Okay, first law of thermodynamics. The math is just that hard. You're just adding stuff. So the catch is, are you going to be able to assign positive and negative signs to the different variables? That is what you're going to be tested over. Okay, good with that. All right, so um, first law of thermodynamics, this is a mathematical way of stating the law of conservation of energy, okay? Like in elementary school, you're like, energy cannot be created or destroyed. That's that in math. Okay. The energy is somewhere. Now, last semester, we talked about mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is just a small subset of energy. Okay. This is talking about energy. The whole big picture where mechanical energy was just kinetic and potential. It didn't have anything to do with like heat energy, chemical energy, all that stuff. That is all wrapped up in that little simple equation. Okay. So what I want you here is a, an example problem. Um, there's 500 joules of work done on the system and 400 joules of heat taken away from the system. What is the change in internal energy of the system during this process and did it increase or decrease? So 
what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a minute head start, and I want you to assign the positive or negative signs to the 500 and the 400 joules because that's really where the skill is. After that, it's just easy peasy. Okay, work is being done on the system, so that you have a negative work. You are taking energy away, so this is a negative heat. Okay, so you have delta U is e, or plus and negative 500 joules uh, minus 400. Sorry, is equal to a negative 400. So delta U is equal to plus 100 joules. Okay. The math is just that easy. Cool that. Now, this tells a story. Not only does it do a math, like give some, some figures, but it also tells a story. So what... Here's what the story says. So there is 500 joules of work done on the system. So that means you have this container of gas. Work is being done on the system, so we're compressing it. Okay? But also during that process, 400 joules of heat is leaving the system, going out to the environment. And the overall change in internal energy was it gained 100 joules in that whole process which means it increased, which means it got warmer. The temperature increased. You okay with that? Okay. You got a positive delta U. That means the temperature increased. Do that. Okay. Tell your neighbor. Okay, correct answer is A. What's hotter, the system or the environment? The environment is hotter than our water molecules. Okay, so we're adding heat to the system. Same scenario, what happens to the change in internal energy? Tell your neighbor. The correct answer is A. What's happening to the temperature? Increasing. Delta U is positive. Good with that. Okay. I'm just going to tell you the answer to this one. What is the work done? Is zero. Because 
there is no change in volume. There's no change in volume. It's not being compressed, nor is it expanding. You okay with that? Okay. Um, so here's the story. Heat is being added to the system because the fire is hotter than the water and no work is being done. So the internal energy is increasing, meaning it's getting warmer. That's the story. Okay. Um, so if we put a balloon over the top of this and it starts to boil and the balloon inflates, a sign for work would be tell your neighbor. Correct answer is A, it's expanding, okay? Now, um, we are not gonna talk about phase changes in this class, okay? That's, that's chemistry, okay? We're just gonna assume, usually what we're gonna assume is we just have gas, it's always in gas form, okay? Um, However, I want to do a quick chemistry review. Have a conversation. Okay. Do you remember this? So here's zero degrees Celsius. <clears throat> okay, so here's ice. Here we're melting, phase change. So you have ice plus water. Here you have just water. Here you're boiling. So you have water plus steam, after that it's all steam, remember that, okay, <clears throat> correct answer to this question is, they're both the same, it does not matter how quickly you're boiling, it's still 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, Okay, this was one, one of the things in chemistry that I was like, oh, so applicable to life. Like when you're making pasta, you boil the water, you, you start to get the, the water boiling, you throw in the noodles. Once it's boiling again, you can turn the heat down to make a little boil, little bubbles. It's still 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, the only thing you're doing with keeping it, the stove on high is converting water into steam faster. That is it. You are not cooking your pasta any faster with big bubbles or little bubbles. You're just getting rid of the water faster. Does that make sense? So save some energy, turn the stove down. You can put a lid on it. Doesn't make it hotter, just means you're using less energy. 
to convert water into steam. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you have a pressure cooker, like if you're able to like contain that, usually the steam gets out of your lid. And then, I mean, it might, it might raise it a tad bit, but a pressure cooker will raise the temperature because it's like PV equals NRT. Like as more pressure, the temperature goes up. Okay, cool with that. Okay. All right, so uh, I would, if you're trying to copy these down, I'd just take a picture of this. Um, if we can assign zero to one of these three variables, life is good. We can make some pretty definite conclusions if one of those three is zero. So we are always looking for ways to make one of those zero. If one of those is zero, you can make conclusions from the missing variable, okay? So here are some of the catchphrases, the things you're reading for to like, oh, make something zero. Now, heat goes always goes out of hot into cold, but it takes time for that process to happen, okay? So if you can do this process quickly, bam, boom, heat's like, oh, I want, I want to go to the cold, but you, you don't even let me, man, because you don't give me any chance. Come on. Okay, so if it's done, if you see the process quickly, rapidly, in a small amount of time, you can make heat is equal to zero. You can also make heat is equal to zero if they're at the same temperature and you have thermal equilibrium. If you're holding it on someone's hand, and they feel like the same temperature as you, there's no heat being transferred because you're at the same temperature. Thermal equilibrium, Q is equal to zero. If you're not changing the temperature of the system, delta U is equal to zero. And if we, we talked about this earlier, if there's no change in volume, then there's no work being done on the system or by the system. Go to that. Okay. So, uh, we've got a demo for you. What I have is a cylinder of air. Okay, put a little piece of paper in here, a little tissue paper, okay, and get that in there, I'm going to seal this up, oh, that come out, oh, it's still in there, okay. Okay, we're going to seal that up. Put our little piston in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this down ever so quickly. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, good at that. If I try to do it again, why? What? Okay, maybe answer this question first before we. Oh, you don't want to answer that question. That's not. <laughs> I got a better question for you. There you go. Probably. Okay. 
Have a conversation. Okay. So what um <clears throat> what was what was work? Positive, negative, or zero? Negative. Compressed. We did work on the system. Okay. Uh what was heat? Okay. Internal energy definitely increased, right? Okay, got hot enough to burn the paper. Okay, but check this out. Heat was zero. Why? Happened quickly, rapidly. You get with that? Now, if anything, check this out. What was hotter, the system or the environment? The system was hotter. If anything, which way was heat going? Out. Negative heat. The misconception is, oh, it's positive because positive heat because it got hot. The system was never colder than the environment. Okay. For the first time, probably in, you know, whatever. Uh we are increasing the temperature without adding heat. We can increase the temperature by doing work on the system. You good with that? Okay. So here's just this again. Just because it's cool. It's the only time you still see fire in physics. So you got to capitalize on it. Ready? I'll do it over here. Three, two, one. Okay. Why can't I do it repeatedly? In order for combustion, I need air, oxygen. I burnt it up. Okay. Good with that. Okay. Last uh, example for you. So. Say I've got um, got an aerosol can. Feel the temperature right now. Quickly, 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 quickly. Feel the temperature. Feel the temperature. Feel the temperature. Go, 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 go. Feel the temperature. Feel the temperature. Okay, it's colder because it's metal, right? I mean, it's just a conductor heat. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this. Okay, now feel quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, felt colder, right? Okay, so what happened here? Work was what? Positive, negative, zero. Positive. The gas expanded. You okay with that? Um, 
it happened rapidly. So heat is zero. Did you take away heat? In order to take away heat, which would have to be hotter? The system. Was the system ever hotter than the environment? No. Okay. We decreased the temperature by doing work. Their work was done. Pause work was done. Where did that energy come from? It had to come from internal energy. You can't create or destroy energy. Work was done. Where did that come from? It came from within. came from internal energy. Good as that. Okay. Got a worksheet due tomorrow. Check this out as you walk out the door. We got a silver shiny and container and a matte black container. Both were filled with ice at the end of the day. And this is one degree, two degrees warmer. It cooled, it uh, warmed up faster than this one did.